This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, a definite pattern change here across the region. We see scattered thunderstorms this evening into the overnight hours and muggy temperatures scale back into the 60s. Monsoon season is here. We have flood watches out for portions of the next two days. Heavy rain is going to be possible, though, all week long. Temps are going to start to scale back a bit. Here's our flood watch for tonight. Uh, it goes through midnight tonight, includes the southwestern panhandle, southeastern Wyoming, and northern portions of Colorado. Tomorrow that shifts ever so slightly off to the east just a bit, includes additionally Lusk and Harrison and the rest of northeastern Colorado. Very similar areas both days under the gun for that heavy rain and flash flooding. 101 yesterday, our first day at 100 degrees, all season here in Scotts Bluff. Nothing in the rain gauge. We wrapped up uh, the month of July here, except for what falls tonight, uh, right about normal, and it's still about 582 above normal for the year. We hit 94 today. As you can see, that is uh, another day in a row. That's seven days, uh, make that uh, nine days in a row uh, of above normal temperatures, 10 days in a row of 90 plus. That 101 yesterday, the warmest temperature of the year so far. And precip has been uh, pretty scarce, just three hundredths over the last week or so. Rain chances, though, are on the way up uh, as we go through the next several days. We've got uh, decent chances of seeing some showers and storms out there. Outside of those thunderstorms, winds are going to be in check. We don't see a whole lot of breezy conditions coming our way. Severe weather threat. Good news for this is it's going to be less enhanced across the region, just to marginal risk of severe thunderstorms today and tomorrow and Wednesday may be a lesser chance of some severe weather. This is going to be our concern though. This is the heavy rain and flash flooding threat. You can see a slight risk of flash flooding basically in that area where the flood watches are at tonight. Shifts a little further south tomorrow and then back into the west uh, of the mountains there on Wednesday. Thursday still here across the region and then by Friday, it starts to push away a little bit. Maybe into the weekend, things might calm down a little. It's not very far off from the heat. Just to our south, you saw that 100 in Tulsa, 91 in Colby and McCook, 92 in Scotts Bluff. Closer here to home in the North Platte River Valley, we're in the 90s. Outside of that, 80s, even some 70s. Winds that are out of the east, pumping in that moisture and east-southeast gusting at times over 20 miles an hour. We do have some thunderstorms out there. They're going to slowly move across the region, be capable of producing some heavy rain before they die out. Quieting weather conditions as we get towards sunrise, resetting the stage tomorrow with another round of showers and thunderstorms here across the region tomorrow afternoon and evening, and then another break as we start Wednesday morning, and then we do it all over again Wednesday afternoon and evening with another round of showers and thunderstorms here across the area. As we take a look at lows, we're looking at mainly in the 60s overnight, highs tomorrow. Not in the 90s, back in the 80s for most of us. And as far as precip goes, again, if you get under some of that heavier rain, one, two, three inches of rain, not out of the question. Uh, and uh, again, if you don't get rain tonight, just wait. These are seven-day rainfall totals from our two different forecast models. And as you can see, everybody getting in on the action of some rain over the next seven days. We'll see if that ultimately pans out. Thunderstorms this evening, scattered storms overnight, 66 for a low. Tomorrow, some sun in the morning, stray thunderstorm possible by afternoon, better chance in the evening again tomorrow, 88 your high. And those scattered thunderstorms around late in the day with heavy rain, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, upper 80s. We dial back into the mid 80s on Friday, near 80 Saturday, then look at Sunday, Monday, much cooler, back into the 70s as some of that moisture maybe pushes away for a little bit.